Sasa! Welcome, Lords of Sasa! I am Magnus Beasticus, and this is my video game fitness program. Or VGFP for short. Or VGFP if you're trying to pronounce it like a word. And in this video, I'll be going over the fitness routine for Dark Souls 3. These routines should work for the previous Dark Souls, as well as Demon Souls and Bloodborne. The first routine is a beginner routine that should be approachable for everyone. And the second routine is a foray into fitness, the likes of which befits the Dark Souls series and its sadistic nature. Now before you start any routine, you should always warm up your body. Trust me, you're gonna need to be as limber as possible for all of that dodge rolling that needs to happen. Why don't UFC fighters dodge roll more? Don't they know how essential it is for victory? Now, let's get to today's beginner routine. For this routine, you can stand up or sit down. I recommend sitting on an exercise ball if you decide to sit. Every time you die, Alternate between push-ups, pull-ups, and hanging leg raises. You can exchange hanging leg raises for sit-ups if you do not have a pull-up bar. Now, the shorter your gameplay session, the harder you should push yourself for every exercise. The longer your gameplay session, the more you should try and moderate how much you push yourself and your energy. Try to build your endurance so you can play longer and harder. Every time you pick up an item, crouch down and touch your controller to the ground. If you are sitting on an exercise ball, stand up into a calf raise, then sit back down. Every time you activate a bonfire, do one to five jumping burpees. Every time you lose over 15,000 souls, curl up into a ball and mourn for your loss. Probably take a break. If you're as bad as I am at Dark Souls 3, you're gonna be shred ripped in no time. Now, on to today's legendary routine. A routine as stupidly difficult as Dark Souls itself. You might want to sit at a bonfire, folks, because it's about to get a little rough. And you may die over and over and over and over and over and over again. For this routine, you'll be standing for the duration of your gameplay session. Every time you die, alternate between one to five one-armed push-ups, then five to ten regular push-ups. Next death, do four typewriters, then four regular pull-ups. The death after that, do five lever leg raises, then five hanging leg raises, then cycle back to one-arm push-ups after that. What? You want to be able to hold the Fume Ultra Great Sword, don't you? Every time you pick up an item, you're going to do a backflip burpee. Okay, fine. If you don't want to do a backflip burpee, which we're all capable of doing, you can stick with a regular jumping burpee, which is just as good. If you're sitting on an exercise ball, then don't. Get up. Get up now. Every time you activate a bonfire, do five jumping burpees. Then, five pistol squats on each leg, then ten jump squats, then um, let's go with five jump lunges on each leg. Yeah, that sounds good. Whenever you beat one of those crazy, impossible, scary, traumatizing bosses, tell me how it feels. Someone's done it, right? Right? And don't forget to use your anger and hatred to push yourself beyond your limits. Works like a charm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Summary. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Summary. That sums up the fitness routines for Dark Souls 3. Remember, these routines do work for previous titles in the series as well. The routine is written in the description below for you to copy down. Thank you for watching. 
If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or even complaints, leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to join Team Sasa. Did you know that Sasa backwards spells badass? Always praise the sun and never stop playing video games. Every time you activate a campfire, bonfire, book a bonfire. Every time you activate a bonfire, do... I said bonfire, good. Every time you activate a... Activate. <laughs> activate. That sounds gross. A routine as stupidly difficult as Dark Souls. <laughs> and b b b b <laughs> For this routine, you'll be standing for your gameplay. So b b b b b b that's what you'll do. Yep, make sure. Put it in. I'm just ready. We're gonna do poop too. What? You want to be able to hold the fume, ultra great sword, don't you? <laughs>